The folks over at Noteshelf reached out to me and asked if I'd review their newest release, Noteshelf 3. Let's see what it's all about. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Noteshelf 3. This is a new version of the Noteshelf app that was just released with some AI tricks up its sleeve. But before we get started, please take a moment to like this video if you found it useful. Click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss those new how-tos and reviews. I spent the last couple of days using Noteshelf and I like it. So much so that I was wondering why I never tried Noteshelf or Noteshelf 2. So let's talk about this app. Noteshelf 3 runs on iOS and macOS. It also runs on Android and Windows, but that's going to be Noteshelf, not Noteshelf 3. I suspect these versions will maybe update to 3 soon. The app is free, but you're limited to 3 notebooks although you have unlimited pages, and there's no handwriting recognition and search on the free version. On the free version, you do get a little taste of AI features as well. You get 30 credits a month to use AI, which is pretty cool. Also pretty cool is that it's a one-time cost to go premium. For $9.99, you upgrade to unlimited notebooks, all the templates, plus configurable digital diaries, and 100 credits per month for AI plus handwriting recognition and search. I very much like the one-time payment versus monthly subscription, but I guess you could argue that Noteshelf 4 could come out with a one-time payment sometime in the future. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's check out the app. All right, I've got Noteshelf 3 opened up on my iPad and uh, we're gonna take a look at it. So, nice little entry screen into the app. I'm going to tap on get started. I'm going to use iCloud for my storage and I have this on another iPad already so a couple of my notes popped up here. Overall I really like the design of this app. Um, I think it's well designed and uh, from the home screen on the right hand side you can tap on the three um, bar or the three dot menu bar here and you can do things like small notebooks or a list if you want to view from a list or see large notebooks. That's really nice. Uh, you can star notes, you can file them away. There are things like templates available. So if I tap on templates, you can see all of the different templates that you have available. And I'm currently using the free version of this right now. So you can pick any one of these um, things like digital diaries or planners, which there's quite a bit here that you can choose from. And this is all just available. I haven't run into anything that has required premium yet. So that's, uh, that's really nice. I can jump back over to home. If I go into a notebook and open that up, um, the design of this is really nice as well. You can write on this notebook. Um, so you can barely see that. So, um, I wrote that right there, but I can increase the the point size and I can write things like that or clouds. I can change the color ink. Um, so that's really nice. You've got pen options here, uh, ball pen, ballpoint pen, fountain pen, felt pen, pencil, and then there's highlighters, eraser, shapes, oops, shapes there, uh, text. So you can drop a text box in here and then I can write something there. It'll transcribe to my text. Um, I can do a lasso and then move this around. That's really nice as well. Um, you can make this a read only. So you can go into a read only mode and then there's AI features. And the other thing about this toolbar up at the top here, if I click on the menu on the, the top right corner, you can uh, customize the toolbar. So you can add things in here. Maybe you add photos a lot. You wanna add things like that. There's also uh, things like Unsplash that you can add in here as well. So that's really nice. Um, and then in that menu bar, if I tap on that, you can share this note, present, um, go to specific pages, rotate pages, change your template, do things with gestures. There's more settings as well. This does sync with Evernote, um, but Evernote, you know, has that whole thing with their pricing, and uh, I just like that this syncs to iCloud, so that's really nice. I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I downloaded this app on macOS, 
and the syncing changes are really nice here as well. But let's talk about AI because um, that is one thing that this has. So I was typing my review of, of Note Shelf 3 here and then I, I went, you know what, uh, I'm going to let AI write the review for me. So I tapped on AI and it loaded up and when this comes up, it's taking a little bit here, but I actually, um, you can you can generate notes, you can summarize, you can explain, you can translate, and then these are the 30 credits that you have available, and then if you upgrade, you get 100 credits. Okay, so here's my uh, review of Note Shelf that AI did for me. I haven't actually read it yet, um, so I don't know if I would completely agree with it, but I thought it was pretty funny that I was able to use AI to do that. Let's um, show you what AI looks like when it generates here. So it's going to index and then I'm going to tap here. I'm using my pencil and I'm going to hit enter and there's my poem and I can add this as text. I can add it as handwriting. I can click on more options and I have these options available as well. So I'm going to add this as handwriting and there's my my poem that AI generated for me. If I go back into AI, we should see that I've got 29 credits left. So pretty cool that you can um, use this in different ways for note taking. I think it's really cool that you have that uh, functionality though. Um, on the left hand side, just kind of show you, wrap up the interface, you can choose different colors and different palettes that you want to use. You can go into a grid view, put in code for a specific color you're looking for. There's also a color dropper. So that's uh, a lot, really nice. Um, oh, let me jump back in there one more time. And then there's a tile view so you can see your tiles. Um, you can also go into like an outline or look at bookmarks that you've created in your notes. Um, you can also look at content and search. So, um, quite a bit. It's really a nice app. I, I, I like it a lot. Uh, you can add tags at the bottom left and then uh, discover what's possible. You can see some tutorials on how to migrate from NoteShelf 2, uh, get inspiration. If I want to create uh, a note, there's, so if I want to create a new notebook, let's say, uh, lots of options here too as well. Uh, I'm just going to type in new. No, that's fine. So my cover, a um, lot of options that you have available for a cover, uh, which is nice as well. Always nice to have a lot of customized options for notebook covers and things like that. Nice retro options. If I click done there and go to the type of paper, you can do different colored paper. You can go to more templates. There's rule check dot legal. Um, so all of these are available as well. If I click on continue, that'll take me to templates here, uh, back over to the store where um, everything looks like it's pretty much free. I haven't seen anything, again, like I said, that would require premium, um, except for this little icon here at the, I'm looking at the digital diary and I've got these different ones here and they kind of have this little icon next to them. But it looks like I can create based off of that. Oh, no, upgrade, yeah. So that is, um, but that's really only a few that have this icon here. Let's see if I go to a planner. Um, this looks like it might require, nope, created that planner. So that's pretty nice too, um, have that ability. It'd be really cool if you could import your calendar into this, that would be, really nice. Um, this is a focus mode on the top right. So if I tap on that, it puts me in a focus mode. Um, yeah, that would be a really cool option if I had the ability to use this planner and then put my calendar into this and then be able to take notes from that or tap on an, an appointment and then take notes for it. That would be really cool. So yeah, now I've got three, I'm at zero notes left, but again, um, three notebooks, but unlimited pages. So I could have a thousand pages in my quick note test. I could have a thousand in this review notebook and 
a year's worth in the Joyful Weekly Planner. So that's it's quite a bit that you get there. So within categories as a way to file your notes, you could um, drag and drop this into say the test category. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature as well. You can come in and look at your home. I can go to my planner and that could go into the test category and maybe that goes into a category for the year and then all of your notes would show there. So I could go to a new category. I could type in 2024 and then go back to my test and maybe I want to move this over to 2024. So that's pretty cool. You have the ability to do that and have a planner for the year. Um, that actually, oh yep, that was for 2024 there. So um, yeah, this is uh, nice. I like all the templates that are available in this. I like the sync with iCloud. Um, that's really nice because then you can jump over to the Mac OS and I'll show you what that looks like on Mac OS. But uh, overall, I think this is a, a really nice app. Okay, here's the Mac OS app, and it looks very similar to the iPad app. Everything is the same. I can jump into one of these notebooks and bring that up, and I can see everything that is in there. Um, you have your options to do things like highlighting. If I want to highlight a piece of something here, or I can write more text in if I want to. I can come over here with the pen, and I can draw things out here. Um, you've got the same menu options that you have on the iPad. And if I close this out, you can see the categories that are here as well. Uh, if we go into the review folder, um, you can type text out. So if I wanted to type something and you do have formatting options, so I can make this like a header or I can I like that and go header header one or any of the other options you have for say captioning or, or body of the text anything like that you have the ability to do that with your text options and different fonts that you can use here all of these are available on the iPad as well um, other thing I didn't really talk about was the difference between the free version and the premium if you want to do a search If I search note shelf, I did write that a few times in my handwritten notes. Um, when I'm searching, it's going to search for note shelf as text and not handwriting. So if you want to search your handwriting, you would need to buy the premium app. And the other part of that is um, on the premium, if you're handwriting, you can um, transcribe that to text. So that's another feature available on the premium. So premium, two features, uh, and, and you get a hundred more credits of um, AI features. But two big ones I think for premium are um, the, abil the ability to search your handwriting and then the ability to have handwriting and convert that to text. Other than that, um, everything is really uh, you get a lot of features on the free version, which I think is really cool. Um, and this is the Mac OS app. And that's Note Shelf 3 on iOS and Mac OS. Really nice design on this app. I think the premium features are worth it, and I like the AI features. Some things I'd like to see, functionality and shortcuts. It'd be nice to trigger a new daily note with a template or AI involvement. I definitely think it's an app worth checking out. And thanks again to the team at Noteshelf for putting this on my radar. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.